morning, fellas and ladies. Yep. <coughs> We've been going here now for a little bit, but it was quite dark there when I took off, so uh, figured I would wait till the sun arised. Yeah. And here it is. It is bright enough now to start videotaping. Yep, that's right. We only have us another 59 more miles to go to our first delivery. Like I said yesterday, it's going to be a crazy busy day today to try and get all three deliveries done. And then on top of that, I got to go another 100 miles down the road and pick up my reload. So we're going to be quite busy today. Yeah. Probably won't be a whole lot of driving. I mean, there will be a little bit of driving in there, but other than that, it'll be uh, a lot of deliveries to make and uh, pick up, so that can really slow you down. But hey, look at the bright side. We are getting paid for doing our deliveries, and we're getting paid to pick up a load, so at least we'll make some money today. And then we got a little more than a day to drive over to uh, Windsor, Ontario. I looked it up there last night. Got us about, I would say, 14 hour drive from where I pick up to where I deliver in Windsor. So that'll be about a day and a half worth of driving. So if I pick her up here tonight, and I won't be able to go much further than that might be able to go a little bit but not much you know so uh, that probably leave, we, leave me with delivering that Friday morning Friday morning sometime yeah so then we'll uh, see what happens from there I guess I don't know what they all got in Windsor area but don't really deliver there generally on a weekend so I don't really know what exactly to expect around that area but only time will tell and we'll find out I suppose I wouldn't actually mind picking up a load going south from there you know get me some good miles in there the next little little week here before the end of the month so that way we could have us a good paycheck you know didn't do much last week I mean I only did that uh, Minnesota trip back and forth had I known that they weren't gonna give me anything better you know basically not giving me a load to uh, Dallas then I would have stayed out but it would have been no use for me to go home already right I have plenty of hours and I only only reason why I asked for a short load was so I could go to Dallas right that's how you get screwed sometimes whatever we're gonna cough it down and uh, gonna move on right okay that's the way trucking goes sometimes it comes with the bad comes with the good I guess there's always good parts to the trucking industry and there's some bad parts to the trucking industry it's like that with every job you take no matter what kind of job you take there's some things you don't like and some things you really enjoy but anyways we'll continue on I have just finished making my first delivery very very happy yes indeed let's take a look here we got 47 miles to go to our second delivery Let's see if they're going to be happy to see us. Yeah. This place was pretty easy going here. They uh, got me right in, put me right in the dock, took them two pallets off. I only had two pallets to deliver up here. Here we are, out of there. On our way to our next delivery. Only about an hour worth of driving and we'll be at our next delivery, right? So that's good. And then once we got that done, then uh, only one more delivery after that, right? But yeah, beautiful sunshine out here this morning. That's awesome. I like it. Nice calm day. Looks like it's going to be another pretty warm day. It's already 24 degrees this morning. 
<clears throat> it was pretty human too overnight. It did rain overnight too, but it's pretty human. But yeah, finally made our first delivery, so that's good. Still have pretty nice green grass here, but I bet you in a few more weeks these leaves are going to start turning brownish or yellowish. You know, fall is just around the corner and then all of us will be complaining about snow and ice and cold, how cold it is, and all of that good stuff here. So, enjoy the last few weeks of summer, I guess you could say. Here we are at our delivery and we got a night trap guy over here doing a delivery as well look at that guys yeah anyways uh, we're just waiting to get unloaded over here and as soon as we're unloaded here we're putting the hammer down to our next delivery right only one more that's it as long as we get there before three o'clock we should have no pro no problem right GPS says we got 150 miles to go to go and we should be there at 12.30, that's what it says. So, uh, should still be there before three o'clock, right? Here we go, guys. We have just gotten our second delivery done. As you guys saw there in the previous clip, I was there in the dock. Yeah, I'm happy. That didn't take much longer than 15 minutes, I would say. Maybe even less than 15 minutes and we were out of there. Yeah. I'm I'm impressed on how everything is going today. Now if the last place will go as fast as this place did, we will be well on our way to pick up our reload today. That's a fact. And here we are using the fact word again. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I just like using that word, word. But yeah. GPS was screaming at me I was supposed to turn left over there when I exit over there but I wanted to go back to the Flying J because uh, when I came in I came on this road there is a Flying J just down the road here so uh, a pilot I said Flying J I meant to say pilot and I've been down here before I remember going down to this place one time before and uh, Mount Pleasant oh, uh, <laughs> no, I can't even say the state. Iowa. Anyways. Bloopers. Yeah, I guess we all get them every once in a while. But yeah, here we are. Just on the road here. That's where the uh, pilot is. You can already see it up there. And I was uh, talking about this last time already when, uh, when I came down here. I don't know why they couldn't make these lights work properly down here. Like, why have the lights if you just got them flashing red all the time you know I don't understand that like every one of them there's like three or four of them in the row here where all of them are flashing red oh well but yeah we're gonna go in there and see uh, looks like they got Arby's in there I don't like Arby's too much though but whatever I was thinking of you know taking my half an hour break here and then grabbing me a bite to eat and then uh, I guess get out of here. Not too sure which way we're supposed to come in though, if it's here or over there. Not 100% sure. I guess we'll go in over there. Yeah, it says truck entrance and exit up there, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So I guess then we'll go in over here. Finally found the sign up there, so. So yeah, anyways, we'll go get a get out of here and then uh, we'll talk with you guys down the road i am now leaving the pilot flying j that is a bite to eat and it's a little bit of a break <clears throat> now we should be good to go for a while continue on this road for 76 miles which we have about 151 miles to go anyway so uh gonna be uh, working hard here for the next little while anyways <clears throat> take us about two and three quarter hours to uh, to get down to our uh, next delivery place <clears throat> and we'll uh, we'll be done with 
deliveries once we get there. And then we'll uh, make our way towards our pickup. We're supposed to be able to pick up our load anytime, I think after 4.30 this afternoon, till 10 o'clock tonight. That's the time we're supposed to be there and <clears throat> picking up our load. So yeah, should get everything done today then, the way it looks like as of right now. Like I said, we got 150 miles to our last delivery. And then we got about another 100 miles to uh, our pickup place. So uh, we got this, uh, at least two and three quarter hours work there. So another uh, hour, and, hour and 45 minutes after that yet. So, so we got a few hours to work yet today before we're done. But I'm happy that everything has gone very smoothly so far, so we'll get down towards our uh, second delivery and then uh, we'll see what we will be able to show you. I am empty, ladies and gentlemen. I am happy. Just gotta go back to this Highway 63 up here and then take that south all the way to I-70 and go a little west over there. S-63 South Columbia. Yeah! And then uh, we pick up our uh, reload over there. So that will be awesome. We got a few clouds hanging around there and it's kind of very few drizzles here every once in a while. So gotta keep the wipers going every once in a while so I see a few Long spots in front miles. of the camera lens there so alright RJ you tell him or you tell me myself too so that way I know where I'm going right but yeah so we gotta hammer down towards our reload they are apparently going to reload as long as I get there before 10 o'clock tonight so which is only eight minutes after two right now, so uh, we can make it. I think we should make it before 10, unless we have a breakdown or something happens, you know. Could always be an accident somewhere, and the road could be closed, right? You never know, they say. But yeah, it's very hot and humid out here today, that's for sure. But we are happy, we are empty, we swept out the trailer, so the customer is going to see a nice clean trailer. We're going to have a happy customer, it's a fairly new trailer, almost brand new trailer actually. Looks like a very new one, it's not been used very much, that's for sure, it's, it doesn't have any damage yet. My trailer don't even have any penner stripes on it yet. I don't know if they actually plan on putting any on here either, but... Yeah, so we're on our way to our pickup now. Here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. We just went down to our pickup place and uh, supposedly we double booked two trucks with the same pickup number, and uh, which I don't believe. I honestly don't. They only load one panner truck a day, apparently. That's according to the shipper. And so they sent me new load offer and uh, it's picking up there tomorrow. So now we got to go to a truck stop and wait till tomorrow. Come back tomorrow morning to get our load. So that kind of sucks. I think they kind of thought that I probably wouldn't be able to make it here today anyways because I had three deliveries and all of that. But they were going to give me this load just, you know. But maybe it was a maybe it was a, an honest mistake. You never know, right? But I kind of have a hard time believing it. But oh well, that's the way it goes. Uh, at least they offered to uh, pay a layover to uh, wait here. So they even said it on the mess uh, message that they're going to pay me layover for sitting here and waiting for tomorrow to get the load. So at least that's one bonus. We'll still make money, right? We'll get paid to uh, wait here for the load, so at least that's good. So we'll go back here tomorrow morning and get the load then, I suppose. 
He said I could come back at 8. According to dispatch, they're open at 6.30, but I asked the shepherd what time I could come back tomorrow, and he said 8 o'clock would be a good time. So maybe they do open at 6.30, but uh, maybe they just don't want trucks in there by that time yet. Maybe they got some local delivery trucks that come in there first, and they maybe want to load them first, right? You never know. So whatever. It's all right. Eight o'clock is fine with me. Turn right on. Luckily, uh, Avenue, US 65. luckily, according to RJ, it's only four miles to the truck stop, so that's not too shabby, not too bad. So I guess we'll go down here to the truck stop, and even the shepherd said there is a truck stop down here, so it's got the cat scale and everything. So that's awesome. There we go only about two miles down here so should be a truck stop he said so we'll go find out I mean I even uh, RJ my GPS has found the truck stop so it should be one down there so I guess we'll go down there and probably take us a shower and grab us a good bite to eat and relax for the day I guess we'll edit our videos two miles. So, yeah, I mean we've been busy working today so it's not like we haven't been working right so we could probably park right in here by the mall but I don't want to piss them people off you know parking in the mall so we'll go down to the truck stop I mean four miles ain't that bad right so that ain't gonna hurt us too much it's only a total of eight miles right a round trip Look at that up there up ahead they're just past the intersection there they got a museum train up there that looks pretty cool for the people that love trains that's right a Pacific Railroad yeah awesome they even got like a horse with cattle up there museum or whatever you want to call it it's pretty cool I like that yeah, it's pretty hot down here today, that's for sure. Very humid and hot, so. So we'll see what happens. Oh, there's another train down there. They must really enjoy it. That looks like a restaurant. Wow, that'd be cool to go in there and have a bite to eat. Well, we gotta go to the truck stop, right? <laughs> Which is just on the outskirt of town, they told me, so. Whatever, we'll get on there and call it a day, I guess. We are done. Yeah, we went back here to the truck stop and uh, we did manage to find us a good parking spot down here so we uh, parked her and uh, now we're done we're gonna get out of here in a few figure go ahead and edit these videos up for you guys if I can so with that being said we appreciate you guys being on with me today we'll see you right here tomorrow morning this is trucker Rudy signing out behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking the walls down